Hello, my name is Gabby from Dental Birth. I am your prenatal yoga instructor and welcome to this class. On today's practice, we're going to focus on strengthening the muscles of your legs and buttocks. Yoga for pregnancy will help you to tone your muscles, improving your circulation and the balance from your body. Working out on the muscles from your legs and buttocks will help you out during the date of birth and also on the postpartum recovery. Also will help you out to keep your spine straight, keeping a good body posture and alleviating the back pain. For today's practice, we will need two blocks like this. If you don't have blocks, don't worry. You can also use two books from the same size as these blocks. Another thing is that before we start, we are going to begin by giving some mobility to our hips. So we are going to start sitting down over your seat bones. You will bend your knees like this. Keep your feet hip distance open. You can put your hands behind you and you're going to move the knees from one side and the other. Inhale here. Now when you exhale, bring your knees to the right side. You're going to see that you, your left buttocks are go, is going to separate from the floor. That's fine. Inhale to the center. Activate your abs so you don't move to the front. Exhale, go to the left side. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. We're going to do it three more times. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release your knees to the left. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. The last time on the left side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come to the center. Bring your soles together. You can bring your heels very close from your body. You can put your hands on your feet. Inhale. Extend your spine. Exhale. Bring the knees down to the mat. Push your knees to the mat and imagine that someone is pulling you from the crown. And hold here for five four, three, two, and one. We will start with step pose or dandasana. So for this pose, you're going to straight your legs to the front. Normally, your big toes are going to be together, but if you need a space for your belly, you're going to open up a little bit your feet, like hip distance, so you can have space for your for your belly. This pose will help you out to strengthen the muscles from your legs and also from your core. Try not to do this, like to, to round your back. So if you feel that you round your back a little bit, then you're going to sit down over a block of, or if you don't have a block, you can sit down over a pillow or you can roll up a little towel and sit down over the towel. Um, so let's start, straight, straight your legs to the front, your big toes are going to look or are going to be projected to your face, you're going to put your hands next to your body, you're going to inhale and straight your spine, open your chest, bring your scapulas together and you're going to hug your baby with your ribs to activate the muscles from your abdomen. And hold here and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to repeat the exercise. You're going to put a block between your knees and you're going to push that block. That way you're going to bring awareness to the muscles from your legs and also to the muscles from your abdomen. 
keep your hands next to you, next to your body. Inhale, straight your spine, bring your scapulas together. When you exhale, you're going to relax your shoulders and you're going to feel the weight of your body over your seat, over your seat bones. Inhale, exhale and push that block. Four more times, inhale, exhale, release your legs when you exhale. Inhale, push the blocks, exhale, release. Three more times, inhale, push the block, exhale and release. Two more, inhale. Exhale, one last time, inhale, straight your spine, push that block, exhale and relax your legs. Now, you're going to open your legs wider than your hips. You're going to use something, I have a block here, so I'm going to put the block inside of my right, right foot. What we're going to do is that, is that when you exhale, you're going to pass your foot to the other side of the block to have very strong legs. So you have to keep your, your, um, the muscles from your legs very, very active, okay? Try to always to imagine that someone is pulling you from your crown to feel your seat bones and to engage your core with your pelvis. Put your hands next to you, your toes are projected to your face, your knees projected to the ceiling. Inhale, straight your spine. Exhale, lift up your right foot and pass. Inhale, exhale and pass. Two. Go back. Three. Go back. Four. Go back. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. One last time. And ten. Very nice. Now put your blood on the on on inside of your left foot. Inhale here. Exhale inside. Go back and two. Go back and three. Go back. Four. Go back. Five. Do not stop breathing. Always keep breathing. Six. Only four more times. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Nice job. Now you're going to bring your soles together like a butterfly. You're going to put your hands on your feet. You're going to inhale, inhale, extend your spine. Now when you exhale, you're going to move your knees up and down. This way you're going to bring mobility to your hips again. You're going to lose a little bit the tight muscles and stay here. Breathe, feel the stretching on the inner part of your legs. and slowly stop the movement nice job now we're going to go to our table pose and from here we're going to do two exercises to activate the muscles from the abdomen and the lower back the lumbar in a safe way for you okay so um go to your table pose this is safer any trimester of pregnancy. You're going to go to your table pose and you're going to make sure your shoulder and your wrist are aligned and that your hip and your knee are aligned. 
your knees are going to be hip distance open. If you need to put your, to your toes and not the front part of your feet, you can do it too. What you are going to do here and the alignment of your body here is going to be like hugging your baby with your ribs to engage your pelvis and your abdomen. You're going to push with your hands towards the mat. So you're going to feel that your upper back is going to be round a little bit. From here, engage your toes to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Separate one centimeter from the mat your knees. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. You can feel how your abdomen is active. Up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Five more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale up. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Try not to hang your head. Exhale. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, and exhale. You can rest in child's pose, bring your buttocks to your heels, and you can bring your forehead to your hands or to the mat. And breathe here. We're going to repeat this exercise. If you need to stop, please listen to your body and make a pause. If not, you can inhale one more time. Exhale through your mouth. And go back to your table pose. So not, try not to hang your head like this. Remember that your neck is an extension of your spine. So you're going to put again your toes over the mat. You're going to push your hands towards the mat, round a little bit your upper back, engage your core, put together your ribs like if you were hugging your baby. Inhale, exhale, knees up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up five more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale down, exhale up. Try to keep your alignment on your body. Inhale, exhale up two more times. Inhale, exhale one last time. Inhale, exhale. Breathe here. Three, two, one and down. Nice job. Breathe here. Now from here, you're going to put away your block if you have your block. And you're going to sit down over your mat with your sit bones over your mat. You're going to put your hands below. You're going to open your chest. Inhale. Bring your head back to stretch your throat and your chest. Now come with your chin to your chest. Now you're going to, to round your back, put your elbows down to the mat and go vertebra by vertebra, putting your spine on your mat. And you're going to bring your heels very close to your buttocks. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Now when, he, when you exhale, lift up your hips. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale, up. Two more times, inhale. 
Exhale one more time. Inhale. Exhale up. And now you're going to interlace your fingers behind your back. Try to push your hips up to the ceiling. Hold for five, four. If you need to go to your child's pose, then go ahead and go to your child's pose. Now we're going to do some cat-cow movements to release the muscles from your back. From here, keep your elbows straight. Separate your shoulders from your ears. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, synchronizing the movement with your breath. Round your back and look into your belly button. Inhale, look to the front, open your chest. Exhale and round your back. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, round your back. And one last time, inhale. Exhale and round your back. Inhale to a neutral position. Exhale here. Now before we go to the other exercise from the table pose, we are going to move or circle your wrists so you can liberate a little bit the tension on your wrists. Do circles inside and outside. Do what it feels better for you. Also, you can put this part of your hand over the mat. And very softly, you're going to bring the weight of your body to your back. You're going to feel the stretching on your forearm and hold here. The next exercise from table pose is going to be to strengthen the buttocks. So go with your hands to your mat. Make sure your alignment is okay. Shoulder and wrist, hip and knee. Make sure your core is very strong and active, that you don't collapse your lumbar like this. So push your hands towards the mat. Now you're going to open your right knee to the right, like this, when you inhale. And exhale here, and hold. Keep pushing your right hand towards the mat so you do not like twist your spine. Make sure that your shoulders are aligned next to each other. Hold for three, two, and one. Inhale down. Exhale, open. Inhale, down. Exhale, open. Inhale, close your knee. Try not to, to touch your knee to the mat. Open, exhale. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. And one last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, down. And let's go to the other side immediately. Inhale, Open your knee, your left knee. Hold for three. This time you're going to push your left hand towards the mat too. And one, inhale, close your left knee. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, open. And one last time, inhale. Exhale, open. Inhale, down. Nice job, bring your buttocks to your heels. Extend your elbows like if you are pushing your hands to the front of your mat and you're going to open your knees, keep distance and push your hands to the front. Keep engaging your core like your ribs together. Put your forehead on the mat and breathe here. 
Feel the stretching on your lower back, on your upper back, and breathe. Now from your child's pose, keep your elbows very straight. If your belly is big, then you can open your feet like mat distance and also if you have a lot of pressure on your back you can also open your hands mat distance you're going to put your toes into the mat inhale here and now when you exhale you're going to lift up your hips separate your knees from the mat and you're going to try first to extend your spine so you can bend a little bit your knees so you can extend your spine, push your hands towards the mat and you're going to project your seat bones up to the sky and back to the wall. Inhale here. If you can keep your spine like this, then you're going to straight little by little with your exhale, your knees and project your heels down to the mat. Separate your shoulders from your ears, engage your core. Bring your ribs together like if you were hugging your baby with your ribs and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bring your knees into the mat. Bring your buttocks in and now when you exhale you're going to bend your elbows inhale extend elbows bring your buttocks back to your heels extend your knees one more time inhale knees to the mat buttocks in exhale bend your elbows inhale extend elbows buttocks to your heels extend knees buttocks up downward facing dog we're going to repeat this exercise three more times inhale here knees to the mat exhale bend your elbows very close to your ribs inhale up exhale buttocks to your heels extend your knees inhale knees to the mat buttocks in exhale elbows to your ribs bend your elbows inhale extend your elbows knees buttocks to your heels extend your knees one last time knees to the mat bend elbows straight elbows when you inhale bring your buttocks to your heels exhale extend your knees nice job hold here for three two and one knees to the mat open your knees hip distance bring your big toes together and you can rest your forehead over your mat and bring your arms to the back so you can rest your shoulders now slowly bring your hands next to your knees and with your next inhale you can roll up The next pose, it is called goddess pose. This pose is a great way to open your chest and your hips. It also strengthens the lower part of your body and prepare your body for an active labor. This asana is also a great way to create a space on your pelvic area. So let's go, let's get started. Stand up. Now you're going to stand up in front of your mat. If you can put your big toes together, then bring your big toes together. Here you're going to recognize your body. You're going to feel your body. You're going to feel your legs very strong. Your coccyx will be projected down to the mat, not out. 
and you're going to bring your belly button to your back like if you were hugging your baby with your ribs. Bring your hands close to your body. Now you're going to step back with your right foot. Big step. And you're going to turn your toes to the front. Bring your hands to your hips. Now you're going to turn your toes out. And now we're going to bend the knees and your knees are going to be projected to the second and third toe. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees. Try not to bring your knees in, but project it to your second and third toe. Your buttocks in, your coccyx projected down to the mat, your belly button to the back so you can activate your abdominals. Inhale. If you feel safe, you can open your arms like a cactus and hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, straight your knees and straight your elbows. Extend your arms. Exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows. Go back to your goddess pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, bend your knees, buttocks in, open your chest. Two more times, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, hold here for five, four, three, two, and one, inhale up. Exhale, hands to the center of your chest. Now bring your toes together or hip distance open. Bring your hands down next to your body. If you can, you can close your eyes if you feel safe, if you feel like you have stability and balance. Hmm. You can bring your hands to your belly. You can connect with your baby, with your body, and with your breath. If, you're, if you feel that your heart is beating too fast, then you can do your exhalations lower than your inhale. Relax the muscles from your face. Relax your shoulders. Hmm. And whenever you're ready to come back and open your eyes, you're going to release your hands and slowly open your eyes and let the light in. Pay attention to your body. Slow down your breath. Focus on the center of your eyes. You're going to bring your attention to the base of your spine. And you're going to inhale from the base of your spine towards your crown. Imagine that the air is going up to your crown. Then when you exhale, exhale from your crown down to, your, to the base of your spine. Feeling the air going up and down as if you were cleaning your spine, the principal channel of energy on your body. Inhale from the base of your spine towards your crown. Exhale down. Relax your shoulders. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. One last time, inhale, exhale, open your eyes, nice job. You're going to put your right hand on your mat, keep pushing your right leg with your right arm. Now you're going to inhale and raise up your left hand, you're going to look to your left 
hand, you're going to feel the stretching on the left side of your body. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left hand down to the mat. You're going to push now your left leg with your left arm and you're going to inhale and raise up your right hand up you're going to lift your right hand you're going to project your chest up to the sky you're going to feel the stretching now on the right side of your body and hold here for five keep breathing do not hold your breath four three two and one go to the center now from here you're going to put away your block if you have your block and you're going to sit down over your mat with your sit bones over your mat you're going to put your hands below you're going to open your chest inhale bring your head back to stretch your throat and your chest Now come with your chin to your chest. Now you're going to, to round your back. Put your elbows down to the mat and go vertebra by vertebra. Putting your spine on your mat. And you're going to bring your heels very close to your buttocks. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Now when, he, when you exhale, lift up your hips, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, two more times, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, Exhale up. And now you're going to interlace your fingers behind your back. Try to push your hips up to the ceiling. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hands and slowly go down with your hips to the mat. Now you're going to turn to the right side of your body. If you have a pillow for your face, you can put a pillow and a pillow between your legs to go to Shavasana. You're going to hold on this pose of Shavasana on the right, on the right side of your body, only if you are on your second or third trimester. If you are on your first trimester of pregnancy, you can do Shavasana laying down with your back over your mat. Like this. Open your feet, hip distance or mat distance. You're going to bring your hands, your palms projected to the sky and lay down over your mat, close your eyes. If you're on second or third, like I said, Go to the right side of your body and close your eyes here. Close your eyes. You're going to pay attention to your body. And with every exhalation, you're going to relax every muscle, every bone of your body. With every exhalation, let gravity absorb the weight of your body. And you are going to give yourself this time for rest on body and on the mind. Take the time that you need. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for practicing with gentle birth. I see you on the next class. Bye.